Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video we're going to look at how we go about drawing the plan view for a septic tank in AutoCAD. So here we have a septic tank, we have the plan view and we also have a section to the septic tank. Now for the section to the septic tank I'll do that in a separate video. But today we're going to look at how we go about drawing the plan view. Now the dimensions for your septic tank will depend, it will vary depending on the amount of people that are living in the building that you're designing the septic tank for. For example, let's say we're doing a septic tank a res for a residential building with five to nine people living in there. So what that means is this capacity in terms of how much gallons um, the septic tank can hold will be 450, 450 gallons there. And then the dimensions for your septic tank will be as follows. So A right here is this distance. This distance is A. So it's 1800 across because we're using uh, this one, five to nine people living in the building. So this is 1800. If it was one to four, it would be 1500, 10 to 14, 2100 and so on. So let's start. First, let's be outline of the septic tank so these white lines here so for this it says that this here is 1800 this is 150 and this is 1050 all right and then we also have to take into consideration the wall width on either side of the septic tank so in total that will be 150 plus 1800 plus 150 plus another 1050 plus 150 that gives us 3300 so that's these distances right here 150 plus one to plus 1800 plus this 150 here plus this 1050 plus this 150 and that gives us 3300 so let's start with this line here so this line here now will be 3300 good and then we have this height right here. So in total, this total distance will be 1,050 plus 150 on either side. So that will be 1,350. Good. And then for this distance, we know that's 3,300. And then we can close up our little rectangle here. Good. So we have the outline for our septic tank here. All right. Now, let's get other details. So we can start with these two green lines here and with all of these things would be underground so we're not really seeing them so that's why they are in the broken line layer. All right so let's start with this one right here. So for this line it says that this is 1800 and we know this distance is 150 and this is also 150. So what we can do now is this we could offset by 150 And then we can also offset this line by 150. We can offset this by 150. And we can offset this by 150. So we have this outline. So now we can offset now by 1800. So this would be 1800. We can offset that by 1800. The reason we're offsetting by 1800 is because the distance from here to here is 1800. And then we can offset again by 150. So we offset this by 150. Good. So now what we can do is we can trim out these things that we don't need here. And then the last lines to trim would be these lines. All right. So we have that. And then we can do this now. We could wait until we're finished. Then we just change all our lines to the correct layers but just to you know not get confused and understand where we are and, and what we're working with all right so let's put these lines in a hidden layer so that's our hidden layer right there all right um my line type scale might be a bit too large so let me just um listen my line type scale to about 0 0.25 so these broken lines show a bit better like that so let's get these parts here this yellow part okay the representing the black walls and stuff all right so let's do this for that now this is what we're going to do this total distance here is 825 and this is a square 
So how do we get A25? So this is 525 plus 150 plus 150. And then that gives us A25. So what we could do now is this. We can just draw a center line. So let me get a center line from here. All right, and just find the center of one of these lines like this. And let me just extend it a bit outside of the drawing like that. Extend it on this side also. Lovely. All right, and then now this distance is A25. So we can offset by 412. 0.5 because that's half of a25 so 412.5 so we offset up and we also offset down like that lovely and we can trim on some stuff that we don't need um for now let's just trim these i shouldn't have trimmed the center line but it's no problem we can draw it back all right so what do we need now so for this, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to offset this line here by 825. So offset by 825. Nice. So with that, now we have all that we need. So we can just do this on one side and then we can mirror it to get it on the next side. So let's trim this. All right, so let's trim this right here lovely and then with that now we can delete these two lines and let me just um redraw the center line because we need a center line extend it a little bit like that and like this lovely all right nice so now trim this trim this trim here trim here then now here we can change this to our yellow lines uh, let me just put it in a text layer for now lovely so we have that now the next thing that we need is we need this right here this middle part so we can get this part and then this part here then we can draw the pipes how are we going to go about doing that this is how we're going to do it we are going to find the center here so this is the cover right here so this right here is the cover and it says it's 600 by 600 millimeter manhole frame and cover so this here is 600 how are we going to go about getting that we we'll find the center between here and here so for that we know that the center is going to be 412.5 how do we know that we know that because the total distance is 825 so the center is going to be half of that so we can offset by 412.5 and we get the center here now i can offset again by 300 why 300 because the manual cover is 600 so it will be 300 up 300 down 300 to the left 300 to the right like that and then with that now we can trim out anything that we don't need so let's trim so we're going to trim out this line and we're going to trim it from right here and down here is we're going to trim it from right here and then this line will trim it from right at this point we'll also trim these two lines like this and up here we'll, tr we'll trim these two lines we'll also trim this and here and here and of course what we don't need we can delete so we can delete all of these lines here lovely we would also trim out this part because it's a bit below the our thing right here all right so we'll trim it out like that now let's do this we're going to change all of these and we're going to make them one color which is blue let me see which layer i can use um let's use the mtex layer it's because it's blue i have a bunch of layers so and then we can delete these two now this we're gonna make this blue as well but we don't need it to be that tall let me just bring it down the distance doesn't really matter so i'll have it like this and then now for this we're also gonna make this blue lovely 
so we have that and then we have this thing here so now we have this it says this is the pipe and it says that it is 100 millimeter diameter but before that let's draw this here it says that this is 25 and it is a square which means that we can offset so let's offset um, and we can offset the center line again it's 525 so this is going to be half of that which is going to be 262.5 yeah so this will be 262.5 all right so offset up offset down i shouldn't have trimmed this line as yet because we'll need it but we can always just use the extend command so we can extend that up like that down like this up like this and down like that lovely then we can trim what we don't need we can trim here we can trim this and we can also trim this and then we can delete what we don't need now so we can delete that we need to trim this and we can delete that delete this delete this and now these i will change to hidden uh, yeah so i change those to hidden so these should be in the hidden layer as well not the center layer so there we go all right lovely now what else do we have here we have our pvc pipe 100 millimeter diameter so what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a circle all right and this shouldn't be in the center layer it should be in the hidden layer so we select a circle from right here it says that the diameter is 100 so the radius would be 50 so there we go all right now once we have that what we're going to do is this we're going to draw a pipe so it goes like this we're going to draw it out the length doesn't matter just bring it a bit outside of the drawing like that and then like this now we have this little broken section of the pipe okay now for that part of the pipe the distance we're going to do something like this it's not really any to any, to any specific scale or anything we're going to draw a circle so i'm just going to start the center of the circle about somewhere here so this is the center line this would be the top of our pipe but we're going to just start like somewhere about here doesn't really matter i'm going to draw a circle there i'm going to copy this circle i'm going to copy it from this point here the lower qu quadrant i'm going to bring it down and, and i'm not going to draw it exactly below the next circle i'm going to bring it a little bit over to the right like this and then now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a few trims i'm going to trim so i'm going to trim out this part of the circle over here good and then the next part i'm going to trim i'm going to trim a portion of this part of the circle i would trim like about right here right here instead of using a circle what we could use actually is the fillet command so you can use a fillet you can click on here and you can set your you could set your fillet radius to about 10 and we can do a fillet like this all right so there we have our fillet now to get the finished look to get it looking like this that we have here what we're going to do is this we're going to trim we're going to trim this right here and we're going to trim here so we get this little thing what that says is that a portion of the pipe is cut off that's that's all it's saying um yeah so with that now this is the pipe oh and of course i would trim off this piece of the pipe here good so once i have all of that now i don't need to do it over on this side highlight all of these lines here like this also highlight this line and this line and this fillet here um and we need all of these lines so these lines these lines also need these two here these two lines and we need these two lines here we need this circle and this line and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the mirror command we're going to find the center here and then we're going to move our 
Then we're going to move our mouse down and just click down here. Your resource object. No, we want to keep resource object. So now we have this, and all we have to do is we can trim out with this line right here that continues down. We can trim that there and then trim it right here also. And then with that now, we just need to trim this portion, trim this portion, and trim this here, and trim this down here. And just like that, we have our plan view of our septic tank. And in terms of dimensioning this and labeling, I will zoom over to this one that's already done. So you can look at the different dimensions. And I can zoom in on each of these so that you can see the labels. You can pause and put in your, your labels. So that's that one. This is this one for the pipe, which is here. And then now this one is for the manual cover. Then this dimension is for the concrete block. And then this one now is for the pipe right here. Lovely. All right, and then you have all the dimensions that you can pause and put in the dimensions. Alright, so thank you for watching. I do hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, I'll do the section through the septic tank. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what other videos you would like for me to do. So thank you for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.